the biomat is a naturally occurring layer in the in the drain field. Um, it's a layer of bacteria, and, and and what the drain field is doing, the effluent, that clear water that we talk about leaving the septic tank, goes out into a series of pipes in the ground. The, that series of pipes causes the water to be distributed throughout the entire area of the drain field. Those pipes are surrounded by stone, and water gets it out into the stone, and there's bacteria that live on the stone. As the water filters through that stone, the, bac the bacteria is eating up any particles that are in that, that water. So that by the time that water gets through the drain field, it is clean again, and it's able to go back into the ground without um, contaminating any uh, of the soil or any waterways that it can eventually get to. There's many variables that go into it, and these variables will cause that biomat to thicken. And it will thicken to the point where it will no longer allow water to drain through the stone anymore. And so that's where you get into the situation where the drain field is holding water. Um, and as water continues to get used in the house, that water's got to go somewhere. And you'll find that it's either pushes up to the surface, so you'll see ponding in the yard. Um, over the septic field, it'll get soggy, it'll get muddy. You, sometimes you'll see actual, you know, puddles starting to show up. If it, uh, if it doesn't come up to the sur surface there, um, it could uh, back up to the tank. It might come out of the tank lids. Um, and then beyond that, the next, uh, you know, easiest path of resistance is backing up in the house. 